Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo. But you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see pricing and more information on this unit. Coon Truck and RV is proud to offer brand new Road Trek Class B camper vans with unbeatable pricing and old school family owned service. Give us a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440 O H I O R V S. For sale today, we have a brand new 2023 Road Trek Zion SRT. We will beat or match anyone's pricing on brand new current model year Road Treks. Visit truckandrv.com or roadtrek.com for more information on how to custom order your brand new road trek today Alrighty, folks here we are inside of this brand new 2023 road trek zion srt as usual i'm gonna start in the front work my way towards the rear gonna do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan of this brand new road trek here at coon truck and rv we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business we're going to go through a full demo with you at the time of sale make sure you are fully comfortable with your new rv we've got chestnut brown interior got 74 inches of headroom here you can think of the srt as standing for short these are 19 feet 7 inches bumper to bumper so the zion srt and the play srt are going to be ideal options if you're looking for a camper van under 20 feet we go through a few things about the road truck construction before we take off and go through the coach beneath our hard surface flooring which makes it easier to keep clean we've got sub flooring that interlocks together there are docking pockets that all of the cabinetry is going to dock into the floor directly. It's going to make everything tighter fit. All of the cabinetry is CNC machined. So if you'll notice, all the fit and finish on all the corners is precise every time as those are machined by a machine. We've got preformed ceiling panels. These are going to be able to be dropped down for service. Throughout the coach, we have Wheeland wiring harnesses. Those are pre-installed into all the cabinetry modules, and then they're put into the van. This makes the wiring more consistent and professionally run throughout this with higher quality connectors that are positive latching, and it's just gonna make everything more consistent. That's what Road Trek is going for, is a consistent, high quality process with thorough quality control. All of the plumbing that goes through chassis metal also goes through rubber grommets. It's going to help protect those from wearing through with vibration as you're traveling. We've got our Firefly system here that's going to basically run everything in the coach. We have a demo that's going to, uh, it's a separate video. I'm going to drop it on the screen here and I'm also going to put it in the video description. It's going to go through how to run this, but this is going to control your lights, all your HVAC stuff, your inverter, which is a 3000 watt sine wave inverter. That's going to run your AC, your microwave. You'll be able to do everything in this coach off of the inverter. That's basically taking your lithium battery power here inverting it to ac so you can use those type of appliances awning control power sofa in the back lots of other goodies here you can turn the step on and off that opens and closes every time you open this door so you can make that on or off whether you want that to do that battery disconnect that's going to shut the firefly off and kill everything you can disconnect the batteries right there through the firefly itself these screens here can be dropped down there is a screen that's like a bug screen Gonna be able to allow breeze through and there's also a privacy screen you can have those deployed and have the door closed we've got a counter flip out here gonna flip this out for more counter space we've got a little power set up here with ac power dc usb in the center and a straight up dc plug there on the right got solid surface countertops nice tall faucet got an induction cooktop Got this stainless backsplash here. It's gonna make this easier to wipe down to keep clean if you are actually cooking here in your road trek. We've got a microwave. Lots of storage. Got AC power there. It's good for your coffee pot. So as you can see on all these cabinets, just the way everything's made, all these corners are fit together so perfectly. Everything is just precise when it's done that way. Here in our bathroom area, got a nice big mirror. Got our sink. 
everything's going to drain into the floor back there. Got a shower curtain you can pull across. You can latch these from the inside like this to make more space in there, give you more elbow room. Got some mirrors on the doors. 12 volt DC powered exhaust fan overhead, otherwise popularly known as a fantastic fan. It'll work like your attic fan at night if you open up the windows, bring the cool outside air in or act as an exhaust fan. Got a nice big slide out pantry here. The latches here, we can pull them like this, they are unlocked. If they're clicked in, they are locked shut. Got a really big pots and pans drawer. We've got a 12 volt DC Vitrofrigo compressor driven refrigerator freezer. So this is compressor driven, meaning it is going to cool more efficiently and more quickly than your traditional absorption style fridge freezers that you're used to seeing in most RVs. A nice wardrobe closet here. Got a table leg. The table top is stored in the back door. There's a little slot down here behind the couch where that is stored. We've got two 300 amp lithium batteries in this road trek. So 600 amps of lithium power, 300 watts of solar on the roof. Got a Truma Aventa air conditioner here. These are quickly growing in popularity. AC and DC power. Got a TV hookup. TV is right here. It's on a swivel mount. The front seats swivel, so you can watch this from the front if you'd like. Got windows that open in the back. You're going to slide this over. You have a screen and a curtain that you can slide across here for privacy. Got a similar style privacy curtain in the rear. You can drop this down and have it where you can't see through it for privacy, or you can have it where it's like a screen so you can get fresh air if you'd like to have the rear doors open. You can slide this over here. Got the same screen and privacy curtain. Got three seat belts in the rear, two up front. So a total of five seat belts here on the Zion SRT. As you can see, we got this couch here in the back. These are removable, so you can pop those out. Little armrest. Our sofa back here is going to be a great spot for passengers to sit and face forward and be belted. You're also going to be able to sleep here just like so if you'd like to do that. You can run this up and down using the switch over here, or you can do that through the Firefly system. You can stop that anywhere in the recline, so you can be able to use this like a recliner if you'd like. If you run that all the way down, there's a board beneath this cushion, and you'll use these cushions over here to fill in this blank here, and you'll be able to sleep two people crossways, or depending on your height, you may be able to use it as two twins. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like made up and get some measurements. The rear twin beds measure 62 inches north-south or front to back and 27 inches east-west or side to side. The queen bed measures 62 inches north-south or front to back and 68 inches east-west or side to side. The sofa base in the upright position measures 18 inches north-south and 68 inches east-west. There is additional storage beneath the front sofa seat on the passenger side. Here we are sitting in the rear of the road trek. I never understood why the show was called SpongeBob SquarePants. Patrick was literally the star of the show. So the front seats both swivel. Passenger seat's going to get a better position due to the cabinet and the steering wheel here impeding the driver's seat. You can swivel this TV out and face the front. we got some speakers that are going to play sound for you back here. We've got, it's kind of hard to see with this light, but we've got a little power station here. It's got the AC plug-in, the USB, and the DC plug-in. Got the same style power station over here. And we've got one over here, got another speaker. So our cabinets, in addition to having the docking pockets in the floor, there are also metal hangers and metal hardware fastening those to the walls. It's going to make all these cabinets rock solid. We've got a vent here for our propane furnace, noxious gas detector. Our inverter is in here. Got our water heater that runs on propane. We've added a winterization kit here at Coon Truck and RV. We prefer to do our winterizations that way. So we added that for you. Nice chestnut brown interior.
Got storage up top here. So all in all, super nice fit and finish on these brand new road treks. We're gonna make it worth your while. We will credit up to two economy class flights from anywhere in the lower 48 off the purchase price of your brand new road trek. We're gonna pick you up at the airport and get you here. We are working on putting in our own private campground here that you're gonna be able to stay in. So lots of stuff we're gonna do for you here in addition to giving you a full tour as usual and making sure you're fully comfortable and ready to hit the road. So check these out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise. Got lots of connectivity options. Got some storage up top on the dash. Down here in a little glove box. Got nice cup holders down here. Got several charging ports here so you can plug in your standard cigarette lighter style DC stuff that you're used to seeing in lots of vehicles. Also got USB and USB-C there. Nice clean upholstery. Vinyl floor up front. It's going to make it easier to keep clean. Some storage overhead. We've got an underhood generator. It's going to produce 280 amp hours of electricity. So whenever you are driving, you can run everything in this coach indefinitely. So if you've got that engine running, if you're going down the road, or if you're just sitting at your campsite, you can run everything in here indefinitely. So as long as you got fuel in that tank, you will be able to create power. You've got 600 amps of lithium power that is being charged, a 3000 watt sine wave inverter. So you're gonna be able to use everything in the coach off of your battery bank power, 300 watts of solar on the roof. So you're gonna be able to charge the lithium batteries by plugging into the shore power plug-in, by turning the engine on, which runs the underhood generator, or by the solar. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this brand new 2023 Road Trek Zion SRT. This Road Trek measures 19 feet, seven inches bumper to bumper with a 13 foot power awning. These Road Treks are built on Ram ProMaster 3500 HD RV ready chassis with a 3.6 liter V6 engine. All of these road trucks go through a rigorous inspection process before they leave the factory. That includes a road test, a leak test, and a humidity test. We also do our typical testing here that we do at Coon Truck and RV. We're gonna go through that full demo with you and make sure you are fully comfortable. We've got 34 custom painted components on the exterior of these road trucks that are not in the Play series. This one is white with silver accents. Got nice bright porch lights. So able to identify your camper van. Nice and easy to get up and into these road treks. We've got these automatic steps that come in and out here. Those are nice and accessible for pets and all sorts of people. Got these nice uh, screens here that road truck has. These have a magnetic closure here. So if you have this zipped up like a tent, you can open up the magnet and get in and out. You're able to open and close the door with those deployed. Got our propane tank. It's got a gauge. You're going to fill it behind that yellow cap on off valve. People are going to fill that for you when you take this somewhere to get it filled. That is mounted to the unit. So you have to drive this road trek to somewhere to have the propane tank filled. The yellow thing there, so you can hook up something like a grill if you are out here beneath the awning. Running around the back of the unit, we've got our city water, got our tow package here, got our shore power in. It's for TV, if you're staying somewhere with TV, here's where you're gonna hook up your trailer. 2,000 pound towing hitch weight here. Got a 300 pound tongue weight. Got nice storage beneath the sofa in the rear. Got a similar screen here that you can drop down. It's got a privacy curtain or a screen just like the one on the sliding door. Got our backup camera and everything here. Our air conditioner coming out the top. Got our outside shower, it's nice for kids, pets, going to the beach, going on a hike. Keep the mess outside of the RV. We've got a dual drain system here. This is your traditional gravity drain. Also has a macerator pump here. We've got a nine foot HD macerator hose here. So if something were to plug up your macerator, you're still able to use this gravity feed. 
Go to do your traditional black first, then the gray. Got the back of the water heater, furnace exhaust. Fill for the fuel tank. Got the underhood generator on these road treks. So you're going to start the engine. It's gonna run the generator. Got a fill for the onboard fresh water tank. That's 37 gallons. That's the largest of any class B. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we added a chassis disconnect here that's gonna disconnect the chassis battery if you're storing your road truck for a while. Will help prevent parasitic draw on your chassis battery. This is a button here you're gonna to push to activate the macerator pump. Got those same steps that come in and out. So if you're looking for a camper van that is under 20 feet, the Road Trek Zion SRT and Play SRT series are a great option. The SRT, you can think of that as standing for short. Check these road treks out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Mm -hmm.